So here we are on the UK company's house and as you can quite clearly see there, Government UK Limited. Now um, you can see the company registration number there and then all of the filings that they have done since the beginning. What I want to have a look at is this one, the first Gazette, uh, which I've got here, the first Gazette notice. It's only one page, UK Government Limited. And this was produced on the 20th of October 2020. The Registrar of uh, Companies gives notice that unless cause is shown to the contrary, the company will be struck off the register and dissolved not less than two months from the date shown above. Upon the company's dissolution, all property and rights vested in or held in trust so it is a trust, in fact, for the company are deemed to be bona vaticina of vaticantia, vaticantia, bona vaticantia, and will belong to the ground. Now, bona vaticantia, for those of you who don't know, I already did it because it says bona vaticantia means, get this, vacant goods, and is the name given to ownerless property. The United Kingdom folks, ownerless property. How about that? In accordance with the Companies Act 2006, when a company is dissolved, then all its property, assets and cash owned at the time are automatically passed to the Crown. This includes any interest in land. Any such property so vested in the Crown is known as bona vaticantia or lost property. D does that not ring the same kind of bell as the Sesta KV Trust in 1666, lost property? I mean, not only have they got us lost at sea now, but they've gone and lost all the property. I mean, they're forever losing things, it's losing their heads. But, so that's where uh, what I've read first is the final notice. It's only one page that apparently the UK government is being struck off the register. So is the UK government going into liquidation? Well, let's have a look at the application. UK government house again, application to strike off, DSO1. This company is applied to be struck off and dissolved. People, they're dissolving the UK government. What's going to happen? Remember I mentioned about the Great Reset, One World Government and all the rest of it. And remember, recently they changed all of the, um, how should I put it, the titles of world leaders to politicians. Is this a continuation of that? It seems a bit strange given what's gone on in 2020 that now all of a sudden in October of the same year and they've got two months to do it, this has appeared as well. The company has applied to be struck off and dissolved. The registrar will proceed unless there is reasonable cause not to. And on dissolution, any assets remaining in the company will be passed to the Crown. Guidance is available on grounds for objection. Yeah, well, I've looked and I can't find any. If in doubt, seek professional advice. They're all part of the same thing. Declaration of directors. So we have directors of the UK government. And you thought it was the Prime Minister and all the rest of the reprobates that we voted in. Welcome to a world we don't call democracy. I, we, as a majority of directors, apply for this company to be struck off the register and declare that none of the circumstances described in section uh, 1004 or 1005 of the Companies Act 2006 being circumstances in which the director would otherwise be prohibited under those sections from making an application exist in relation to the company. In other words, there's nothing stopping them doing it. Led James Coots. Now, I suspect that's the Coots of the Coots Bank system.